So, you're really... Yes, I'm really trying to get back in here. I know it's on fire, but your mother's still inside. Is there anything I can do to help? Maybe you could go exploring and find something or someone that would help us. Good idea. I'll go see what I can find. Is there anything I can do to help? I mean, I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. So, if we weren't actually in space... Where were we? Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. Nice to meet you, Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. I can relate, actually. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mog Chathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. Did you say Mog Chathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh? From what? Their loving families? Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. Hey, it's one of my Hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Dandelion. Are you... Are you... Me? From the future? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah. Our parents would probably agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassa Nostra? No, I grew up on the Maluruna. Oh, then we're not... Yeah, I guess not. That's a relief. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean that... Nothing. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. 
You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. If I can get this ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um, yeah. Why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. What? Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, he'll take me back to a previous destination. As long as I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all about music. Everything we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. Have you seen Laruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship, and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows, I might have some other family there. Why did they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live. But maybe we were actually looking for something else, and we just didn't know it. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. Huh? <gasps> but you know I just made that up. No, no, no! I, I had a Merrick too! He wanted us to rescue... Or... Capture... Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. Do you need any help getting your ship running? Do I ever? Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it... Uh, c came to life and flew away. Probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh, no. Is that... Is that... me? From the past? No, Dad. This is Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta. Pleasure to meet you. This ship crashed here, too. And now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be... We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Who do you think has been looting your ship? 
Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. Okay, see you later. Okay. What's this? So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I mean, like, in a dream, almost. Our ship! It's really gone. Hey, where did all the seashells go? Ugh, oh, what's that smell? Dad? Son. At least now we have a plan, right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. Dad? Did you know we weren't in space the whole time? No, but I had my suspicions. In my nightly maintenance patrols of the ship's exterior, I found many anomalies I couldn't explain. Was Operation Dandelion for real? Obviously, Operation Dandelion was not what they told us it was. But why hide it from us? What were they up to? Did you and Mom know about Merrick? Who? The guy in the wolf suit, who lived in the vents of the ship. If there were someone on the ship without our knowledge, that could only be the work of the Thrushmaster, the head of Operation Dandelion. But why send an operative and not tell us? Sorry I treated you and Mom like machines. Oh, you didn't all the time, son. Until you turned 13, we didn't annoy you at all. Plus, you can make up for it by helping us get your mother off that ship. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. I'm going to see what I can find out. Okay, I'm gonna stay here and gather my thoughts. Can you fix him, Spoon? I think he needs a recharging, sir. Sir, I hope you don't intend to eat that putrid smell concoction. Nope. Whew. Just dipping your toes in. But sir, I... Oh my. Not to question the mission, sir, but was there some reason you stuck me into that toxic potion? How's the pH balance in there? The mixture has a pH balance of six, exactly. We need to get it to seven, exactly. Sadistic. <laughs> Oops. I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? 
No, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. It's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait. What were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she... made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collect it in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. Well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. Any talking trees over here? No? Good. I can hear you. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. What the... Oh, wow. This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. My mother never would have allowed this. That must have been danger. I was... I was like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? Uh, wow, oh, you really are kidding around, are you? You're actually trying to squeeze the life out of me, aren't you? I love it! So, is your plan to kill me, then eat me? Oh, amazing! Oh, that was a good one. Well, this has been fun, but... I, I had better be going soon. Okay. One time's over, my scaly friend. I... Oh, I hope you're not bending my friend's spoon. Mm, I remember reading on the ship's Cosmomnipedia that snakes hate loud noises. I don't want to have to resort to sonic violence, Mr. Huggy, but it's time to let go now. Uh, seriously, you better let go. Uh, not kidding around. Mr. Huggy, I think it won't be much longer now. <sighs> Guess that poor snake didn't realize how many hug attacks I've been through. Mr. Huggy's all tuckered out. Don't want to leave him here where someone might step on him. There's some sort of flyer in here. Hey, this is that girl that tried to punch me. Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters.
caught in your throat. Oh. Hey, knock that off, Mr. Huggy. Back to your tree. Mog... Mog Chatra... struck down by the dead eye god. Only to rise again. This maiden's feast was a disaster. I'm never gonna be mayor now. I don't think this guy can fix Hexapals. Nice schematic. <sighs> yes, I do like to work from a good plan. I thought this one was foolproof. But not from this old fool, it turns out. What a disaster. What this strange diamond shaped socket is for. What's a superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Okay, I'll see if I can find one lying around. Okay, see you later. Okay. Do you know how to build a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam? I can build anything, as long as it's made out of sand. I think sand is the perfect material for making spaceship parts. But can you make something this complicated? Please, do you realize to whom you are speaking? And that's why they call me Marshal Dew. Thanks. No, thank you, son, for reminding me why I got into this business. I might look like a politician, but underneath it all, I'm just a guy who loves sand. Ooh, that's good. I'm going to pass that along to my speechwriter. <laughs> I'm just going to put this here, okay? Forest isn't your dumping ground, human. Hey, do you know this girl? Oh god, that face! The memories! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more stools. Come back late. Whoa. 
Never seen an outfit like that before. Where'd you get it? My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. What are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. I used to work with wood, but, you know, it was getting all trendy, and the tree started talking, and there was no money in it, so I got into metal. What is that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm, not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for like ever. But my kid just arrived today. So I've been like hardcore for about six hours. What are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very first <clears throat> collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. That's so cool. Hmm. Well, well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mole? Think you could make me a radiation suit? Nah, I don't do soft goods. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. Well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Hey, Curtis, do you think you could use this as a mold? Hmm. Hey. This is a nice mold. What is this, a candle holder? It's a super... Because candle holders sell like crazy. I can totally use this as a mold if it's a candle holder. It's a super candle holder. Cool. Let's try it out. Hit the road, kitty. Please don't be a cat. Please don't be a cat. That's perfect. Electricity really well? Well, not that it matters for a candle holder, but based on the metals I'm using, yes. Thanks. Yeah, you take the first one. Fair trade for this awesome mold that is gonna make me so rich. Uh, which <clears throat> I only care about because it gives me the freedom to be true to myself as an artist. Thanks, Curtis. Pleasure doing business. I mean, art with you. Phew, now that was a ladder. Whoa, check out these crazy clouds. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder, you got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long, my feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, Father, stop wasting time. I... Uh, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I... I... No, 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 don't cry. Whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I try your ladder? You will help me rescue Brother Lightbeard? I'll see what I can do. That's very light of you. Thank you. 
See? Nothing to be afraid of. Wait a second. What's happening? Darn it. He looked so light. Help? A little farther for there. It's not me. <sighs> Heart of gold, but he never takes anything 100%, you know? How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you could stand on? Okay, see you later. <sighs> For there. Hello? Can you untie that bow on Harm Knee's cloud? Why would I do that? So we can use it to make a rescue harness for him. Great idea! So, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah, the big old nasty looking kind. Thanks. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Try to find a loose section. I think I see what you mean. Rats. That was a bad idea. Oh, uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Like a whole new... Terrible knot. Aren't you gonna figure out how to get me down? <laughs> so you're gonna save me or what? Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. You seem good with your hands. You know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? Like a bucket of fingers. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm sorry. I guess I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Can I borrow your space pencil? Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. Okay, see you later. Okay. 
Here you go, one superconductive gyroscopic hypercam as requested. Hey, that looks even better than my old one. This faux sandy texture really adds to the conductive surface area. Brilliant. Oh yeah, that's a really recent advancement in hypercams. Hey, that song that makes your space conductor return to his last port? Could you play it for me? On this? Well, I can try. Oh, that's... catchy. I think if you're a navigation computer, that's actually a pretty hot melody. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Uh, I need another knot untying diagram. Oh, yeah? What's it look like this time? Like an alligator wrestling a pretzel. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Yep, that's an easy one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. This diagram is good for one thing, untying knots. <laughs> if I gave you step-by-step -step pictorial instructions, do you think you could untie that knot on Harmony's cloud? Well, my teachers say I'm more of a verbal learner than a visual one, so probably not. <laughs> not, get it? I can't do that from here. I can't do that from here. Psst. For there. Hello? For there, could you try to describe that knot to me? Uh, I don't think so. Really. Let's give that knot another try, okay? Okay. Pull apart the fighting snakes. I'll give it a shot. 
That loosened up something somewhere, I think. Unravel the sweater. Gotcha. It's still naughty, but now it's less naughty. Steal the banana. Huh? All right. That loosened up something somewhere, I think. I got it! Hey, get your mitts off that! What the heck? Avert your eyes! For there, get me a towel. Brother Lightbeard, what is all that stuff? I know it looks like a big hoarding junk pile, but you have to understand. I might need some of this stuff someday. But everything you said about lightness, I... I don't know what I believe. You get a line and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line and oh, I'll this get is a bad. Hey, is that a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit right there? I have no idea, but you're welcome to take it. What? No, that's mine! My lightness! As a matter of fact, is there any place you'd like it delivered? Yep, this came from my ship. Someone must have looted it while I was asleep. You sure you don't want to ride over the plague dam with us, Father? No, I need to go take care of Harmony. Goodbye, space boys. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to look young, but I'm obviously a grown man, right? Tree. Human? That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. 
Hey, want to hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Do you know why penguins don't have Christmas trees? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because they don't believe in tree murder? Never mind. Tree. Human. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Did you hear about the First National Tree Bank? No. What? I have all my money in the First National Tree Bank. I heard they wanted to see time fly. I don't get it. Well, it's more of an absurdist. Anti joke, really. Uh, huh. Tree. Human. That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? Why did the president of the chipmunks get impeached? Ooh, I bet he did something... cheeky? Am I right? Hey, this is my joke. Okay, okay. What did he do? I heard he had one too many nuts. Hey, keep it clean! There are saplings around here. I, I didn't mean... sorry.
tree. Human? That fish up there in your branches? Can I have it? Sorry, I caught it. Until it falls from my branches, it's mine. That's the code of the trees. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Ooh, is it a tree joke? What's the smallest full-grown tree you ever heard of? Well, some say the dwarf willow, but it's really no more than a shrub, if you ask me. I've seen one no bigger than my hand. Oh yeah? What was it called? A palm tree. A palm tree? But those aren't really... Oh! Oh! <laughs> you get a line and I'll get a pole. We'll go down to the crawdad hole. Yikes! How's that thing talking? Oh, that's creepy. Okay, just stay quiet, you. Honey, sugar pa baby mine. Shh. Tree. Human. Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated with me. Oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes are the best. I gotta make like a leaf and leave. <laughs> okay, kid. Later, tree. Oh. No more jokes? Later, tree. Need a hook? Sure do. Oh, uh, look, kid. That's a nice hook, but I'm not fishing for minnows, you know. What? This is a great hook. I'll... I'll prove it to you. Sure, kid. What's that? You get a lot of fish when you use the right equipment. You caught that fish? On this beach? What's your secret? Hmm. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Let me think about it. Uh. Okay, you've worn me down. I've decided to tell you about my fishing secret weapon. Your what? This. The hook that I caught that amazing fish with. I call it the fish reaper. Or freeper. You don't say. Hey, uh... Do you suppose I could borrow your reaper for a little while? But please promise to leave some fish in the ocean for future generations. Thanks, kid. Guess I don't need this anymore. Come to Carol, my beauty. Like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Poor guy. These guys did everything on my ship welding, washing, electrical. It's Carol's spool of wire. Nicely wound. Lorraine would have loved that. Who's Lorraine? Oh, just a woman I knew once. When she wound spaghetti, it was like watching the ballet. Hmm. Looks like this little guy lost all his low-level wiring. That explains why he's out cold.
Let's wire this terminal. I think that's the right terminal. That goes there. Hook it to this one. And this terminal goes, and that's all the wire I have. Let's try this pattern. Huh. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it... Something? I'll have to unhook some connections if I want to put more down. Mm, these shouldn't be connected. Mm, that wasn't right. Connecting to this terminal, I'll put some wire here. Now I'm out of wire. At least he's got more wires now. somewhere else. Unhook those. This one looks good. Okay. That's all my wire. I don't know if my wiring helped. Take that one back. Nope, not there. Yeah, that's better. Now those two are connected. Put this here. Here. Now I'm out of wire. There goes nothing. I see.
that's more like it. Other end goes here. That's all my wire. At least he's got more wires now. If only I were on my old ship, then I could look for the info I need to fix this. I'll wire this end here. Now I'm out of wire. I don't know if my wiring helped. Huh, if only I were on my old ship. Then I could look for the info I need to fix this. I don't have any more wire. Try this pattern. Okay. Wire. I don't know if my wiring helped. Well, heck. all the wire I have. At least he's got more wires now. Well, that's something. I'll have to unhook some connections if I want to put more down. That's all my wire. Here goes nothing. That's more like. 
That's all the wire I have. I don't know if my wiring helped. Well, that's something. If only I were on my old ship, then I could look for the end. wires now. I see. And that's all the wire I have. Worth a shot. Uh, what? Got more wires now. Now I'm out of wire. There goes nothing. Huh, if only I were on my old ship. Then I could look for the info I need to fix this.
that's what I meant. all the wire I have. At least he's got more wires now. Not sure what that means. Glad to have you back. Hey, how about this little guy? I think he wants to help. Wow, look at him go. Oh, so, and he knows electronics. Great. He might just be the genius I was looking for. Yep, and they do windows. But I was just trying to take care of my family. Your family, Walter? Or yourself? Hi, my name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walt Er. Sticking with that, are you? What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. Have you guys seen a, a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chafra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Vela, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. She taught us all a lesson that day. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Um... Hey, hey! You wanna buy a cupcake? It's a fundraiser. For a good cause. Hi, I'm Shay. 
Want a cupcake, Shay? What's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah! Cupcakes against lies. I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? How about a trade? I could give you something. Sorry, but there's only one good thing I learned from Harmony Lightbeard, and it's that I don't need objects. I need money. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's what I said. Okay, old man. This time, you're going down. How'd you do that? <sighs> Stay there. <laughs> you guys know any place around here to get some money? I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? Just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Why do you have so much? Oh, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony. But I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. And I'll never hold up in court. Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, because I'm a warrior! Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go. Now that fellas inspired me. Seeing her kick that fog right in its soft bits really put the fight back in my bones. Well, I still need the cane. It's where to keep my frosting. Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet, soldier! I am! Oh. Hey, hey! You wanna buy a cupcake? How's the campaign going? It's building. Cup by cup. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer Maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, us too. But we were all lied to. Yes. Yes, we were. See, Rocky? I told you it'd be easy to convince people. Why is it only Maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions, until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger, until it's big enough to take down a whole mog itself. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, we gotta start small. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons? Oh, never mind. Hey, can I buy one of those cupcakes? I got money. Great! I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind, but I never let her have any before, and now she's gone, so now I wish I could. Hey, Rocky, it's okay. 
We're going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. Uh, thanks for the cupcake. Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. It's something about eating my daughter's face. Ah, oh, Husker. That's the best part. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten, you know. This one. Oh, hey, good idea. Here, you can take my empty. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Okay. Looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should. Uh oh. Oh! Ow! Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. You better not move it. I don't want to. guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one... Feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. 
I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the Dead Eye God said. Long after we are... On guard, druids. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. Lucky she's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because... I can see. I've been... I've been pretending to be blind all these years. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact... I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just go. Right now? Right now! But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Ah! <laughs> well, that's what I get for learning to fence with candy canes. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. Huh. How's the fruit? It's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know. The game is always sweetest to the hunter. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? I've been thinking the acid or something in the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing and giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I, I don't have a cold or anything. I'll let you get back to your juice. Bye. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. if I carefully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course, just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh... I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. Now look at 
that. Hey, what are you doing down here? They all turned on me, after all I've done for them. How long do you think they'll keep you locked up? You know, I'm not even worried for myself. But what did they do with all my stuff? Have any regrets? I should have never abandoned my underwater commune. Now that was a sweet gig. I just got so sick of fish, you know? Want me to get you out? No. This cage is really for my protection. Everything okay here? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he tried to get you, but something came up. Um, who are you again? My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The maiden speech is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Swinging? You making fun of me? Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. Fat lot of good it did me. Do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting! Yeah. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Of all the things I could have taken from our ship, I end up with my useless baby radiation suit. So, can you make me one of those? Oh, that's adorable. How old is your baby? Oh, it's for me. I need it a little bigger. Well, I suppose I could use this for a reference. There's my can-do gal. Just get me the material you want for your giant baby onesie and we're good to go. It's not a... Uh, never mind. Be right back with the material. Oh. Huh. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Well, only one thing to do now. Twyla! Don't worry! I'll be right back! Come on, Vera! Oh, Whew. I thought my teenager was dramatic. <laughs> Great, but what's with all the feathers? Just because I was working off a pattern doesn't mean I can't inject a little personal style, does it? Dear, you are an incredible talent.
Report. The mixture has a pH balance of six. Exactly. It has to be seven, Shay. What are those, eggshells? Shells is shells, right? Actually, calcium carbonate is the main ingredient in all kinds of shells. Exactly. So you were listening to my night lectures on science. Uh-huh. Got a pH reading for me? The mixture has a pH balance of nine. Exactly. Try the other direction, son. Hang on there, son. Do you know how acidic that fruit is? No, but my spoon will tell me. I will. With pleasure, sir. Mm, worth a shot. Any luck? I'm detecting a pH level of... Seven! Eureka! It's perfectly balanced, sir. Nice work, son. Now for the final ingredient. Just a small bonding and reduction agent. It's perfection. It's so small. A little goes a long way. Come on, let's go fix that ship. I love science. Hmm, amazing. Just like my dad used to make. Let me at that hull and I'll start patching her up. Sure, uh, go ahead. Hey, can I go down there? Uh, aren't you busy helping me find stuff for my ship? Oh, yeah. What's left? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Hey, I got a radiation suit. Great. Hey, uh, what's up with all the feathers? Extra protection. Recent tech advancement. You don't say. Well, I have been asleep for a long time. Well, thanks, Shay. That about does it. Is there anything left for me to do? Just sit here and wait for your dad to pass the hall, and then we'll take off. How long do you think that will take? Hey, I waited 300 years for this. We can wait a few more minutes. <sighs> What was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. Oh. So, what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows... Hey, can you play that? Have you noticed that your ship's sort of shaking now? That's the heavy-duty anti-gravity thruster you found, warming up. After everything else is ready, that thing's gonna blast us out of here. Oh, man. Okay, see you later. Okay. How about now? Nope. Still nothing to do but wait for your dad. <sighs> through this door my dad used? Oh, you don't want to go down there yet. Very unsafe. Many sublevels are structurally unsound. Who knows if the air's breathable? Plus, there's some rogue automatons I've yet to get under control. Why didn't you warn my dad about that stuff? Didn't you see the look in his eyes? I knew there was no stopping him. It looks so familiar. How about now? Nope. Still nothing to do but wait for your dad. <sighs> hey, can you play that previous destination song for me again? See? I knew it would get stuck in your head. Thanks. No problem. Good practice for me. 
I'm going to need it soon. Okay, see you later. Okay. Hey, there's a big sparking hole in the floor. That's your superconductive gyroscopic hypercam in action, man. Works like crazy. Well, look at that. Better not go too far. Alex might take off without me. Look at him go. This old-fashioned wiring must seem so primitive to him. Hey, in my day we got by just fine without any fancy six-sided help. But I am glad he's here. Looks like a pitch pipe. It's a robot charging station. At least, that's what I used it for. Better not go too far. Alex might take off without me. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir! How about now? Nope. Can I go through this? Hey, you got this old-timey laser coil and amplifying quartz all hooked up wrong. Want me to... No, no, don't touch them. They've come close to overheating several times and they're extremely unstable. I'll, I'll get around to fixing that soon. Just leave it to me. All right, all right. Look at him go. This old-fashioned wiring must seem so primitive to him. Hey, in my day we got by just fine. Can I go through this? So, you know this girl? Yep, that's Vela. Oh, wow. I didn't realize her family was looking for her. I wonder if they'll follow the trail up here eventually. Better not go too far. Alex might take off without me. Gary's definitely out of range now. I hope he's okay. Target acquired. This from above! Ah, right! I thought I had that one. Were you trying to stab me? Why? Don't take it personally, kid. It's just what I do. For instance, just a minute ago, I took down this whole ship after ripping the very fabric of space itself. To you, you got off easy. Just when I thought things couldn't get any stranger. Um... I knew you'd be back. Something tells me you're a girl who knows the value of a good knife. Can I just confirm that you are a talking knife? Because I'm trying to figure out if I'm losing my mind, or just mildly hallucinating. Oh, I'm the real deal, kid. A technological marvel. And sharp, too. What are you doing inside the monster, Mog Chathra? Monster? Kid, you are inside the spaceship Bossa Nostra. Or, uh, just outside of it, actually. We're outside of a spaceship? Then how can I breathe? Don't ask me. I'm solid state. I gotta admit, though, this ship and everything around it has been acting a little nutty since I cut it. But that's to be expected. Who's the captain of this ship? Well, the other kid who just tumbled through that bright spot in space, that's the one we called Commander. But the real brains of the operation, we just called Mom. 
Where can I find Mom? It's me. I haven't heard from her in a while. But hey, I didn't stab her. Can't pin that on me. You're coming with me. And for the record, I took down this ship. Whatever. Right's a right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Smartphone users, press the button down there. PC users, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the link up there. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Also, you there, the one who didn't follow my orders? I'm coming for you now. <laughs>